Hi, this is week one lecture of uh, fundamentals of marketing. That was basically an introduction class in which we have, uh, give, uh, in which I have given the introduction of myself to the student and then uh, students are required to give their introduction one by one. And in which, uh, in this class, we have discussed about uh, what is uh, marketing and the basic overview of the marketing. And we just made a general discussion and I have discussed about the assignment, uh, about the poster plan presentations that they are required to submit. And in first class, I have discussed about the learning outcomes of the whole modules that uh, the students will be able to learn by the end of this course. And then we have started with uh, learning outcomes of the particular sessions that we are taking in that uh, class week one. Uh, that was basically about the understanding of the module and introductions to the assessment methods uh, used for this module. And uh, again, uh, then we have discussed like about what are the businesses and how a, one person can start a business. And I asked students about their general reviews and uh, then in week one, we have discussed the module content and uh, important notes for the assignments has been discussed in the class about uh, poster plan presentations. And uh, I have been providing them the recommended resources that they can utilize during this course that will help them in making their poster plan presentations. And if they need any extra information, they can go to these sources. Um, we have discussed about that, like we have the library um, in which all of the books that they want will be available. And then we discussed about uh, like uh, about the businesses, uh, about business ideas and uh, and then what are the requirements for the businesses has been discussed in the class. This is basically a very general um, a lecture in week one. And then I have been uh, covering uh, at the end, like what we will cover in the next week. Uh, that was all from the week one lecture. And after that, we have discussed uh, in the week two, we have discussed about the competitive advantage. Okay, this is the week two lecture uh, in which we have discussed about the learning outcomes of the sessions, the principles of competitive advantage and how it pertains to every business and what are the competitions and the advantages of the competitives. We have studied about the portals, five forces to understand competitive forces and the sources of competitive advantage. These are the learning outcomes that student will be able to learn after the session. This is the week two lecture and and then we have uh, studied about the competitions, like uh, what are the competitions and the rivalry among sellers trying to achieve such goals as increasing profits, market share, and sales volumes, in which we have uh, studied about the uh, price, product, promotions, and distribution strategies of competition. And uh, the next slide uh, is the general discussion on competition. And we have discussed some of the examples like Samsung, Volkswagen, Apple, and Toyota, in which student made a very good discussions like how they can, uh, like out of these brands, how they can identify who will be the other competitors to these brands, like in automobile industries and in electronics, like mobile phones uh, and the cars. And after that, we have the video on Porter's five forces model. And then we have discussed about the competitive forces in detail, uh, the threat of substitute product or services, what will be the buying power of the customers, threat of new entrants and supplier power. Uh, and after discussing the uh, Porter's five forces model, we move towards the threat of rivalry, in which we study uh, about how a com we can uh, take a competitions from outside of the organizations like our competitors um, and what is their strategy in the market and how they respond to the market and how will they are and how strong they are in the market. So we uh, 
discuss that and we have discussed some points on the threat of new entrants like uh, when they are when there is a business in the uh, in the market how other uh, businesses can enter as a competitor so how a business can make a strategies to compete with their competitors in uh, in that we have discussed uh, the strategies and then threat of substitute um, in which we have discussed how easy is for customers for finding your product substitute uh, and what steps you have taken to avoid these situations and how strong is your product. So basically we took an example of uh, the basic daily necessity uh, uh, products like milk and eggs, how the substitute could be available easily in the market. So the discussion was good. And then we have discussed the threats of uh, buyer bargaining power and in which we have covered like who are your buyers and what options they have in the market in comparison to your products and how easy is for them to move on and other options and what orders they can give you and after that we have studied a uh, threat of suppliers power power uh, suppliers work as a big backbone for any business and this is important to think about suppliers and think about the suppliers power of increasing price or reducing quantity so uh, if this is the end of the five quarters forces model we have made a very detailed discussions on this specific topic and then we move towards identifying competitors in which i have asked students like how they can identify the customers of the of the brands they are using in their daily lives for example if they are using an internet provider or a tv or a mobile phone so anything how they can identify their competitors in the environment and then we have an activity in the class in which uh, as i have uh, discussed like they have they are required to identify the customers of the businesses of your choice and then they decide the closest competitor among the list and explain why and that was the activity in the class and this is the video on competitive advantage and then we discussed about what is the competitive advantage and then we have discussed about sources of competitive advantages like cost leadership differentiation cost focus and differentiation focus and how we can compare it with the competitive advantage and the competitive scope then uh, one by one we have discussed this concept like cost leadership and the differentiation the focus and then there is an activity on the model that we performed in the class so this is all from the week uh, two lecture the competitive advantage this is the summary and these are the topics that we are going to cover in the week three so this is all from the week one and week two lecture thank you so much